Hi Ram, good morning. Good morning, Shanti. How are you? I'm fine, Ram. Thank you. So, yeah, today, I, so this season we know, right? So uh, students are completing their graduation. So I want to know, know about some common myths in searching IT jobs in Canada. Why do recent graduates feel that finding employment in Canada is challenging? And would you suggest how to overcome this perception? Common myths. Recently, I have heard or I've gone through the newspapers and all. So, uh, why do some fre why do freshers feel that finding job in Canada challenging? Or what approach would you suggest to overcome this perception? No, um, actually, it is actually a myth that freshers cannot get jobs in Canada. In fact, uh, it is easy for a fresher to get a job in Canada than an experienced person. Many people don't know that. People have this concept of herd mentality where uh, they feel that uh, if somebody says freshers cannot get the jobs, so the others also feel though people are saying freshers cannot get the jobs. But trust me, freshers can easily get jobs in Canada. Um, in fact, um, for any organization to run, you need at least 50% juniors, 30% intermediate skill level person, and 20% seniors. This is how any organization is composed of. Otherwise, organizations cannot uh, no, uh, succeed or they cannot become uh, successful, right? Okay. Because if you if you have all seniors thinking that they can do a good job, there will be politics between them, okay. isn't it? Yeah. And of course, company cannot have budget to feed all the senior people. You need somebody to boss around, isn't it? Yes. So at the same time, you cannot have all junior people. When I say junior people or freshers, I mean zero to three years of experience. Canada's definition of a fresher or a junior means zero to three years. So that is one convention that you need to get used to it. It's not like India where fresher means zero experience. Experience means in, in India, three years means he is like more or less like a senior person. But here, zero to three years means he is more or like, like a fresher or a junior person. If okay. a company uh, takes all juniors, then obviously they can't deliver. They can the Companies can save money but mm. they cannot have a quality deliverable. If the okay. company have only intermediate skill set people, then they also they cannot serve because they don't know anything uh, perfect, nor do they claim that they know everything perfect, right? So it's a problem. That's why for any organization to survive, you need to have 50% uh, juniors or freshers, 30% intermediate skill set people, and 20% uh, experienced people. So which means freshers have a very big market share, 50%. But of course, the supply of the freshers and juniors is also very high. So you have a high inflow and there is also high demand. So this is a very unique situation where the supply is also very high, demand is also very high. So the way only way to beat out that competition is by preparing very well as a fresher, getting professional training, doing a lot of hands-on practice, doing some projects. Uh, that way, when you attend a job as a fresher, then you can easily clear that interview. And also, since you are at a junior level, the people who are interviewing you will have very less expectations. They don't have too much of expectations from you. They don't want any heroics from you. You can just, uh, you know, take, uh, uh, if even if you talk relatively better, mm -hmm. they will uh, like your profile and they will give, offer you the job. So I will always say that getting a job as a fresher or a junior in Canada is slightly easier than getting a job as a experienced person. Oh, so communication th helps better to get a job. Yes. More? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, can you explain me what is the term called Canadian experience in terms of job market in Canada? Yeah, this is also another myth. You know, people think that uh, in Canada, we cannot get a job without any Canadian experience. See, the concept of a Canadian experience is not the experience of working in a Canadian company on the resume. Mm. Canadians are quite different compared to other country people. Canadians are very nice. They don't, even if you do a very big mistake, they always keep smiling. They don't reprimand you. They don't do any harsh comments on you. Okay. They're even if uh, let's say if there is a uh, you know car crash in india on the road itself people fight with each other but the same car crash if it happens in canada 
they just move aside and then they talk to each other very nicely so that the concept of that niceness is called as a canadian experience that canadian experience you need not get it uh, directly from the job that you are doing you may be able to get it by doing some volunteering you may be able to do it by doing some part-time job or from odd job or from a survival job right but mm -hmm. at the same time we cannot claim that survival job on the recipe if the not getting the job as a Canadian without a Canadian experience is true then nobody can get a job in Canada because Canada is a land of immigrants isn't it so which means if any every, every immigrant that comes he will not have a Canadian experience so how on earth can he get a job he cannot right so it is actually a myth people even without a Canadian experience can get a job people with Canadian experience also can get a job but if recruiters will have more confidence on people who have Canadian experience because the, the niceness factor in the Canadian exp ecosystem will increase let's say if they take uh, you know a candidate who is experienced in Canada but no experience in Canada if they take him to the team then that niceness concept is gone everybody will be nice and he will be the most ferocious and aggressive person so he will be an, an odd man out so it is even dangerous for him so that's why they wanted to take people who understand the canadian ecosystem canadian way of behaving being nice so that is what is meant by canadian experience but uh, people don't understand this concept again to get a job in canada you need not have Canadian experience. You just have to be nice as a Canadian, which can be exhibited in the way you're talking to the recruiter. The recruiter should really understand that you are really nice, you're a good fit for the job, and you can they can take you. And you have to be nice even in the interview. Interview people become very angry. When they talk to recruiters, they become very angry, right? So you should not uh, uh, be very angry. You have to be very nice. That automatically covers the Canadian experience. Okay okay so recently i have heard about the proxies and that is the reason they are calling for the face-to-face -face interviews so could you please describe what is this proxy refers to in context of job searching yeah this is one kind of uh, pandemic that has spread across uh, the north american uh, uh, soil it first started in the us the concept of a proxy means it is more or less an impersonation one person is giving you a voice from behind where you show your face from the front okay it's a very dangerous and a very unethical practice that people follow which i generally don't encourage uh, because it is easy to get a job as a proxy but you cannot survive in the job okay, okay. many people especially people who are fresh out of college have this uh, you know tendency uh, to go for proxies and try to get a job again if you get trained, you can easily crack the job all by yourself. Why do you need a proxy? Right? So if you're a proxy, you won't even find happiness when you get a job. You will be more tensed when you get an offer letter. Oh, I got the offer now. Tomorrow I have to do the job. So how can I do the job? I know. I don't know anything about the job. So how can I survive? Oh, what if the job support person doesn't uh, uh, respond on time? What if I don't get the job support person? Right. What if I don't have the fund to uh, maintain the job support person? Right. So all uh, you're more or less like a person on a time bomb. It can blast any time. You're on a landmine. The minute you take your leg, you're blasted. Right. Mm -hmm. So don't go for uh, proxies and spoil your peace of mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is easy to get a job even without proxies, but you just need to sweat out, do some hard work, learn a lot take trainings, do a lot of practice, hands-on, gain confidence, go for interviews and get the job. But don't, uh, my sincere advice is not uh, to go for proxies at all. It worked in the US, okay? In US because US has 50 states and all the 50 states has IT jobs. So if a company in California wants to hire a person in who is in Chicago, every time he cannot give uh, you know flight tickets to come to California to attend the interview. So the online interview has kicked in and that the days when, you know, the teams, the Skype and everything did not uh, are not in the place. They used to do it on a phone call. So they used to do some call forwarding and they used to, you know, impersonate the person. It used to work in the US. It is even working even now because in US, all the interviews are online. Okay, okay. Canada, the same dynamics don't work out. It worked in the pandemic time. 
because in pandemic time everybody is forced to attend uh, online interviews but now the pandemic is over people are uh, back to normal companies are back to normal right so now uh, even if you go for a proxy you don't uh, uh, have a chance of uh, clearing it in fact companies have identified this problem now they are asking uh, people to come for at least one round of online face to face interview so that they can see you in person talk to you in person know about you more uh, and then uh, and then only they are giving you the offer letter so in the geographic dynamics in canada are like 70% job market is in Can and toronto only so in toronto in greater toronto area you can go for interview just with one hour drive right so they always ask you to come for in person Okay. And uh, even if the job is in Montreal or Ottawa, they do give the flight tickets for you to come and attend the interview in Canada. Okay. <clears throat> so okay. stick in proxies. Okay. Uh, how do you think uh, references are when, I mean, how important the uh, references are when trying to get the job in Canada market? This is also one of the myth I have seen people in many Facebook groups and in any other uh, WhatsApp groups, people unnecessarily blame the government. Oh, yeah, uh, we can't get a job without any reference in Canada. References work only for very few roles. OK, if there is a role where the impact of delivery is zero or very less for that role, the project managers can hire people on references because the impact is very less. The risk is very less. Such roles are like business analyst, quality analyst, and some of the functional roles like project assistant or a project coordinator. For those roles, even if the QABA exists or doesn't exist, there is no impact on the delivery. Mm -hmm. So for those roles, they generally people take on recommendations, on references, etc., etc. But it won't work for all other roles. For example, if you wanted to have a DevOps person, just because you know that person, you cannot take that person out of reference. Because if the person does a bad job as a DevOps engineer, the whole delivery of the software gets affected. Right? So people can get some jobs using references, but they cannot get all the jobs using references. Okay, so it is a myth that people can get job in Canada only through references. No, the reference market is only 5%, which means 5% of the total IT jobs in Canada are procured through a reference. But what about 95%? Think about the 95% market, right? 95% markets are open to the public where there is a formal interview scheduled and you have to crack that interview to get the offers. Why not be positive? Think about the 95% market size. Why you are thinking about only 5% market size? Okay. Yeah. Understood. So, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on jobs during the holiday season, especially December now, December and January? So do you think the, uh, freshers or any uh, job trained person will be having the opportunities during that time? Again, this is one of the myth. People think that uh, no hiring happens uh, in holiday season. So some people, they don't even apply for jobs during that uh, holiday season. Okay. They don't apply, they don't do effort to do the job search also, which is like they are unnecessarily wasting the time. In holiday season, how it is different to other seasons is only one change. One is in a normal season, when there is an interview scheduled, you will have the interview finished very soon because people won't be on vacation. But in a holiday season, you can't get the interview slots because whoever is the interview, he will go on a vacation. So we have to wait till the time he's back from the vacation, right? So which is why the interview process gets delayed. But the job search, openings, there is no concept of a hiring freeze. Again, this is a myth. I'm telling this with experience. In fact, hiring happens more during the holiday season because everybody, as soon as the holiday season is over, budget uh, will re get replenished and they will try to hire before the budget is released so that they can have people on bench as soon as the budget is released they can hire the people immediately onto the roads right so it is a myth so don't stop your job search if it is a holiday season treat the holiday season as like a normal season right holiday if it gets delayed it let it be delayed but don't uh, stop your job search i can show you innumerable offers that we received from ncpl in december in fact in one of the years i think in 2021 
we got 22 offers only in december yeah. which is a very peak holiday season but how mm. did we get it so if that is true then how are we going to get uh, how did we get the 22 offers right so it's actually a myth okay okay so uh, what's your perspective on the availability of jobs for job seeker in canada during market recession i mean economic recession yeah recession means there are less number of jobs mm -hmm. number one which means if earlier if there are 100 jobs now there are only 50 jobs and uh, the number of people who are trying for the jobs are still the same okay okay so let's say thousand people earlier they're competing for 100 jobs now thousand people will compete for 50 jobs now in the recession what happens is some people also lose the job they get laid off so they also enter the race so now instead of thousand people searching for 50 jobs now 2000 people search for 50 jobs so the earlier the ratio was um thousand people and 100 jobs so one is to ten now in recession 50 jobs same thousand people earlier and laid off people 2000 so 50 jobs for 2000 people and 50 uh, 100, uh, uh, 100 jobs for 1000 people so the ratio and the competition during the recession increases which means the time it takes to get a job will increase but you will get the job but you have to wait for your turn to come so the time it takes earlier if you are taking some uh, two months to get a job now you will take four months to get a job because the ratio has increased the competition has increased you have to beat that competition now uh, and also in recession you will have uh, less number of interviews due to more competition so you have to prepare more to crack that uh, interview earlier when there are too many interviews coming in you used to play around with that interviews Oh, if not this interview will, will look into an interview let me see what he's asking in this interview then i'll prepare for the next interview those days are gone that golden period is gone so those are the struggles we'll get to face in the recession people still get the jobs jobs are still there in the market but you need to work harder to get a job during the recession compared to the other time okay thank you ram i'm done thank you for clarifying me the myths in searching job in canadian market yeah again i'll come up with one more topic now yeah again to summarize it is very easy to get a job so if you think that freshers cannot get a job in canada it is a lie and it is also a myth that people cannot get a job without canadian experience you can easily get the job with canadian experience without canadian experience also and again don't think that you can get a job only through references you can get only certain jobs through references those are also in very limited in number five percent is the market share 95 percent is only through interviews and it is also a myth that people don't get jobs during holiday season people do get the jobs during holiday season also but the entire job you know interview process gets delayed because the availability of the interviews won't be there when they go on a vacation mm -hmm. and the fifth one don't rely on proxies to get a job okay it's a very dangerous practice that won't work in canada okay it may possibly work in the us but not in canada and every company is now aware of this moonlighting proxies they're asking you to come for to uh, office every day or sometimes hybrid and they're also asking for interviews to come in person if needed they will also give you flight tickets and again don't fall into the trap of uh, recession right even in recession you can still get the job but the difficulty level will increase. You have to work more harder compared to the past to get a job during recession because too many people are in the job market. The number of jobs have raised. People who are laid off also join the job search race, right? So, so I hope uh, all these myths are very clear. These are all myths only. These are all not real. So, Shanti, so if you meet your friends, educate them about all these myths, both in US and in uh canada also so whoever you meet if somebody ask any advice tell them these are all myths sure Ram. thank you yeah thank you so much shanti nice talking to you Ram. thank you